Is there anything better than Hoenn music, right? Shit is downright soothing out here. What is up? <clears throat> Welcome. How's it going, people? Happy Friday. It is Friday. Hey, and today's the day you finally get that Gyarados to Mega. Finally! Honestly, Mega Gyarados, what it does help with at least is you guess, I guess you're not four times too electric. You get a half dark, but. How's everybody doing? Mm -mm -mm. 8 out of 10, too much money. <laughs> Barney Thornton with the Prime the sub. UK. Barney, thank you, my friend. Appreciate the sub. Good luck against Winona. Ah, uh, she's shafted. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm afraid. Um, yeah, Winona's gonna be a little bit of a difficult time, but... Yeah, you know, actually, I guess we gotta do Winona, like, right now. We have a squawk to start things off. Hello, Samantha. Shout out to the ocean, <laughs> says Mola Mola. Indeed. Bam, bam. I'm wanted in 48 countries. It's true. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, let me take a look here and make sure I'm aware of what level cap is and stuff. Da -da -da. I don't know why Mega Gyarados is dark, to be honest. Winona! She's got a Skarmory, Honchkrow, Sigilyph, Gyarados, Talon, Flame, and an Altaria. Jesus. Highest is 50. Level cap of 50 is always, uh... It just feels like shit's getting real now, you know? And the level cap is that high? Damn. Set up spikes against Winona. That's a great plan. Great plan. But first, uh, since we defeated the rival battle over here, we're safe to kind of just cruise on into Fortree and have a nice time and enjoy the tree city before shit gets crazy. Wish we still had RK9. It would be nice. I miss that little fella. He never got to evolve, actually. It was just a Growlithe, but... Um, there is some trainers over there I want to avoid, but we're gonna head over this way. Rocks would probably be better with than spikes. Yeah, spikes is a joke because nothing would get hit by the spikes. In fact... I don't have anybody with Stealth Rock. Did I get the TM for Stealth Rock? Run it, Bobcat! Thank you very much for the 20 months, my friend. I appreciate you. I don't have Stealth Rock, right? No. There's no way. Unfortunate. Yeah, rocks are rare in this game. Um, so we've got the Pokemon Center here. We've got... Yeah, I've always I always liked Fortree. It's a cool city. Um, and I think... Do we just take on... Winona right away? I don't remember. I truly don't remember. We're gonna check some stuff out in here, though. Hello? Vintage Misery. How's it going? Thank you very much for the first time chat. Rocks will help massive if you got access to them. I do not. I do not have Stealth Rock. But look at how cool these houses are. The tree trunk going right through. Oh, we got stairs for my base. Sick. I wish Hayden would check me out. <laughs> I'm checking you out right now, immortal. Don't think self rocks is even a TM in this game. Yeah, it's not him. Lame. So there's the gym over there. I forget if we do like the Kecleon stuff first. Or what? I think we. Where's Puppy? She's actually still in her carrier since I took her home. She's just sleeping in her carrier right now. I opened it when we got home, and she just wanted to stay in there. Damn it, I fell for this guy's trap. I accidentally have, I have to talk to this guy for an hour now. Thank you. I'm out of here. Um, yeah, we do have to do the Kecleon stuff. Lame. So the thing is, I don't want to over... So, Bandit will help me for the first few trainers, I guess. But I can't get past 50. Just caught up on the VOD today on the YouTubes. Let's go, Mitten Man. Appreciate you. Did you bring her to the office? I did, yes. How was puppy training last night? Uh, we went on Wednesday night. It was good. I believe, yeah, we get an encounter over there to the right, which is cool. So that's fun. Do I have Pokeballs? Do I need to go back to the Mart? I think I have Ultra Balls now, right? I have eight of them and 12 Great Balls. Probably okay. I know we can get Absol in the grass over here. Oh shit, here's Steven. Hello? Looks as though the Pokemon can be that Pokemon can be found upon Route 120. You can tell he's talking about the Kecleon. He's uh, just talking to himself, and we're gonna follow. Let's go over this way and start off the stream with a new encounter, shall we? I don't want to battle this lady. I really don't want to get in any, get in anything crazy. This is gonna be a scary ass gym battle, guys. Damn. I mean, they're all scary, but like you know. <sighs> this one might be a little extra scary. 
A sketchy adult showing a young kid his secret base. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to do a prediction for the first encounter over here? What do we think? Fluff Mala was good. If any mods are in chat that would like to set up a prediction, could do arms or not. <laughs> I kind of, I wonder if there's anything here that would even help me for this gym. Altaria, Absol, Driftblim, Perugly, Skuntank, Scrafty, Mianshao, Bisharp, Rufflet, and Volibee. Damn, there's Bisharp here? That would be pretty good for this gym, sort of. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Purging the entire PC amount of deaths. There's going to be no deaths today at all. It's not going to be a single death. Uh, I will run a prediction. Prediction. Um, okay. Will this. Wait. About to see three perfect gyms. Hey, who was that? Nas, thank you very much for the resub, buddy. I actually just moved the wrong thing. Will this Pokemon have arms? Yes or no? We just saw a list of what the mons could be, but, you know. Phantom Knight was good. Winona's where I wiped before I played this. Fuck. Uh, when you played this, yeah. When I was pretty scary, we have this amazing Corsola, who's gonna be pretty Pogchamp. That Honchcrow of hers knows Thunder for some fucking reason. You remember Resident Evil 7? I do remember. Yes. I'm about to see three perfect gems in a row. You know it, buddy. You know it. Uh, so yeah, get your tails in for this encounter. Bruce Willis's head is a is a bullock. What does that mean? Started watching when you posted Gen 4 battles eight years ago when I was 14. Now I'm a medical student and you're still making awesome Pokemon content. Dude, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me for so long, my friend. Gen 4 was the good old days. That's for sure. Yeah, I set the prediction for... Like, I, don't, I didn't even set it. I, it's very hard for me to do it. So when there's mods that do it, it helps out. I have so much shit up and I didn't go through and change it. I'm sorry. English term for nuts. All right, let's get our first encounter here. Sorry that prediction was so short, but let's see what we can grab here. We really want Bisharp. First encounter here is... Scrafty. <sighs> I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's a great Pokemon, but it does not help us for this upcoming gym. I was really hoping we would have something useful. Uh, but we'll take this guy in his sagging pants. It's a dark type like Bisharp, true. But he doesn't have the steel type. That's what we wanted. Bam. Those are arms, though. I'll tell you what. Those are some arms if I've ever seen it. He's got a sick mohawk, too. Scrafty's a great mon. I wonder if this thing... We didn't see Intimidate, so it's probably Moxie. Why is it that either a Pokemon... Pokemon either get... That, that can have Intimidate, also have Moxie as their secondary. What's up with that? Snowrunt does not have arms, Immortal. The fuck? Why would you lie to the chat like that? Alright, but we do catch it. Oh, it does have shed skin as well. That's right. Moxie would be ideal here. But we catch ourselves a Scrafty, which... You know, not too bad. Not too bad at all, boys. Alright, who was the sub? Who was the most recent sub? It was Nas! Let's go! Bum, 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 bum. Do you sing in your head when you find a Scrafty? I do not. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what that reference is to. Um, but hey, that's pretty cool. Got ourselves a new Mon. Let's take it. Oh, jeez. I'm going to shout out some scary fighting types on the, in the grass over here. That's the theme of this grass, apparently. I don't want to battle that uh, umbrella lady. So let's head over here. I think I do need to go down to that bridge and talk to Steven before Jim. Uh, let's take a look at this Scrafty, and I'm also going to switch the team up a little bit just before the gym. Just to make sure we'll be okay. Um, so, this thing is Bold. With my, it does have Moxie. Bold is minus defense. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Plus defense, minus attack. But I was thinking, if this Impish would have been the ideal one. We got a minus attack nature. God fucking damn it. So annoying. Is a mod or a legit jam? Uh, it's a mod. It's just a hack of this game that makes it more difficult. Super fucking annoying that I always get minus attack natures on mods that specifically need to attack. That's fun. Uh, okay. Well, well, let's see here. Um, Klefki's definitely gonna come to the gym. Just to Thunder Wave shit, by the way. But let's see. 
I'm going to... I'm going to put Corsola in the box for now just so this thing's safe for later on. You know, let's actually bring this thing with us for now, for a minute here. He tanky though? I mean, kind of. If he had an Intimidate, he would be. Use the cast form. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's wear Candy this Scrafty here to... Ooh, there's Crunch. Okay. Alright, bro. I see you. I need a scary face. Prankster Memento Klefki. Let's go. That would be a nice set. Castform does have Blizzard. Danrich has a point. Facade could be pretty decent here on this thing, maybe. I already have Chip away anyway, so. Uh, 47. Dragon Dance? Hell yeah! Let's go! You know, I really hate High Jump Kick. But I really need a fighting stab. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I just get rid of facade. Doesn't Gyarados have Ice Fang? Ice Fang, yeah, Gyarados uh, should have Ice Fang. I don't think we got rid of it. I'm gonna keep high jump kick for now, but whatever. Bam bam. Alright, 48, let's go. Better than focus and miss. Okay, I heal. I'm gonna use this Scrafty for some fights before the gym. I think we really just... All we need to do, really, is the the Kecleon, I think, right? And that's actually technically a static encounter, right? We can use the Kecleon as an encounter. If I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go grab myself some Ultra Balls, though, just to restock on stock up on them bad boys. Hello, sir. Ultras. What's up with all the candies? We use rare candies to grind our Pokemon, so these streams don't end up being four hours of me battling wild Pokemon. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. There's literally no point in grinding in Nuzlocks. It just is a huge waste of time. It would literally be... Like, we would be in Duford Town if I had to grind everything. Bam, bam. Kecleon is buffed? Let's go! We love a buff Kecleon! Freaking everything got buffed in this game, dude. Jesus, I need to like find a list of that shit. And the rare candy thing makes sense. It, it, it's it kind of hinders us because we don't get the effort values we would we would get as if if we were grinding. You used to do that between episodes. Yeah, yeah. And realistically, I would just rare candy a shit a lot of the time anyway. Um, it's Pokemon challenges. Pokemon changes in the doc. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I will look at that later. Uh, let's lead off with this here, minus attack nature motherfucker here, and let's go see... I guess I'm just gonna battle this lightning to get it over with. Where do you find the rare candy code? There was actually not a rare candy code, I just opened up PK Hex and added in my bag. It's guaranteed to miss any move that isn't 100% accurate, it's true. Watch, I'm gonna miss this first high jump kick, watch. I'm calling it. Nope, okay, we hit it, we're good. We good, we good. That lady just has a cast form, what the hell? Okay. Um, that's yeah, a bird keeper guy. I forget this, this place is just full of bird people. <laughs> this is annoying. I can't really. I oh, Gyarados is 48. That's good. Young Juice, what is good? Thank you for hopping in, my friend. How are you? Time to evolve your new Lumas. Let's go. Bird up. Ooh, Pidgeot. Oh, 46 Pidgeot here could... These things could be either way. They could physical attack or special. Uh, or just be dumb and tailwind. That's perfect. Get a nice little poison on you, though. And roost. Nice. Everybody does, in fact, know that the bird... Bird is the word. You've been watching the VOD channel? Much appreciate when you do watch the VOD channel. Uh, if you don't, if you aren't already familiar, guess what? I upload all of these streams onto a YouTube channel, Hayden Live. Uh, you should sub there if you ever end up missing streams and stuff. It's it's a good time. It's way easier to watch there if you miss streams. So, hi, future me, when you watch this on YouTube. <laughs> About to start my new job, so I'll be able to actually subscribe. Let's go! Congrats on the new job, my friend. Okay, continuing over yonder where we're gonna have Mr. Stone, and he's like. Just chilling on this bridge, but there's there's a damn vod channel. Vod channel is a lifesaver for Europeans. True, my streams always happen 
when it's extremely inconvenient for our Euro, Euro friends. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That should be more entertaining. Uh, are we ready for battle? Uh, sure. I guess so. Hey, that guy with the gift sub to Young Juice. Let's go, Young Juice. Now you're a sub. Thanks to our fantastic friend, that guy. I appreciate you, man. Love that you upload the vids on YouTube because uh, they sail a lot and miss you live, but I got you today. Let's go. Red Gadget, thank you very much for stopping by. Just be a sub now. <laughs> that guy, you're too kind. Look at these nerdy ass goggles, bro. You gotta be kidding me. I'm like examining this Kecleon. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lizard. We have another squawk. Get the Mega Stone for Sceptile, and no, we don't. Uh, let's flamethrower this thing. For some reason, I feel like this thing has a psychic move, but. Okay, critical hit on the flamethrower is not. I guess that's actually fine. Let's catch this little fellow. How about it, buddy? You're coming with me, my little chameleon friend. Should rock those goggles on the slopes. I'm gonna. Just got off work and made it to the stream. How's everyone doing? Shanks, we're doing great, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. You get the special hat in Temtem for having the Discord version of the game? I th don't know. I think I did. Alright, we catch the Cacleon. Now, this thing could be a useful friend. Alters its body coloration to blend in with its surroundings, allowing it to sneak up on prey unnoticed. Then it lashes out with its long, stretchy tongue to instantly ensnare the unsuspecting target. An interesting little fella. Alright, well, that guy, you did a gift sub, but I think we already have a nickname. Definitely had a name after you. And then it was Nas, then it was Rutted. Rutted Bobcat, you are this thing. Rutted. Let's go. Alright. So, ideally, with a Kekleon, we want a, want a nature like Calm or something to make it a little bit bulky, but he gives us the Devon Scope. Thank you very much. And a Septile Septilite. I've killed both of my potential septiles in this game, so that's cool. Can you have the hat? I can figure out how to get on and give it to you, yeah. Imagine trying on a pair of goggles slash binoculars and the first thing you see is a super zoomed in angry lizard. <laughs> For real. I think now that, yes, yeah, so since we have the scope now, we don't really want to mess around going down there too far because there's... There's big scary trainers over there, and we don't want to fuck with- Come on, wheezing! Fuck! Um, let's just go do the gym now, I guess. I, I'm honestly afraid, but we might as well get it over with. Also, first, I guess we should do this, Kecleon. Ba -bam -bam -bam. Titan Tauros, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Do I have any heal? I don't have any way to heal, huh? I need to go buy some fucking- ever pick up the new Pogo set. I've never been able to find any. I ordered some from the Pokemon Center website and it's apparently shipped. Actually, I think it might come today. Come to think of it. I think they mentioned something about it coming today. I only ordered like $50. I don't even remember what I ordered. It was like 50 bucks though. I can't be spending so much on Pokemon cards anymore, man. Because it's like, dude, you spend like $300 to get like one $20 card that you want. <laughs> Like, realistically, the cards that I want, I should just buy the cards, but it's way more fun opening the packs. Steven Stone is the strongest and richest man in Hoenn. <laughs> but he still believes that Rock have magic powers like a middle-aged divorced woman's crystal. <laughs> oh, God. The healing crystals. Okay. Let's go beat up this other Kecleon over here. And I guess, guess I actually could have taken a look at my... Kecleon we caught. We'll use the Devon scope here. And oh that one just flees. I always forget that that one just runs away. Like what? Let me have you. Was that always the case? Let me get the TM for Grass Knot here, which is kind of cool. We'll be taking that. And now I guess it's pretty much time to assemble a squad for Winona. God, I'm scared. <sighs> so it's a lead Skarmory with Stealth Rock that she uses, so I guess we can kind of. Like, I might even be able to just lead Gyarados and start Dragon Dancing on shit. Let me go replay. I guess I'll go get Corsola back for those early trainers. Just in case shit gets a little hairy. is gonna be really good for us in this fight. Like, when hasn't Corsola been good for us, though? Let's be real. is the GOAT. 
Can't, them kecks can't set up shop anyway. Uh, let's see. Here's our Kecleon. It is careful. It does have our cool ability. Changes the type to the move you're using. Side beam. Yeah, it did have side beam. Uh, Ancient Pirate slash and camouflage. This thing actually might get brought because if I just Ancient Power, you know, then I'm rock type. Plus potential for boosts. Uh, my special attack is absolute shit though, so maybe not. Maybe I can actually teach it a better rock move though. What does Keck learn? Let's take a look at this fellow. Let's bring you instead of Scrafty. Um, and again, do we want to bring Gliscor? Is it going to be good for this at all? They have a Gyarados, which is really scary. Really scary, even, with Intimidate. I don't have any electric types, or even any electric moves. God damn it. Um, we'll probably be bringing the keys, just the Thunder Wave stuff, I guess. I guess Blissey's not going to be useful here at all, other than against the Sigilyph. Sigilyph. Sig Sig is it Sigilyph? Sigilyph? That thing. Kecleon gets Thunder. Pog. Um, do I want to bring Blissey? So, though, full on a special attacking mod, the only one they have is that, that Sigilyph. We're, we're probably not going to waste this slot. Um, hmm. Popping in to say hello, Knockout. Thank you very much for stopping by, buddy. You have a good time at work, my friend. And Turbo Muffin is here. Let's go. Other than that, I guess we'll switch Corsola for... I mean, Weezing's going to be good just because we're defensive. But, I mean, I'm really only going to be able to take care of, like, maybe one Mon with it. But Definitely going to bring Gyarados. I guess Whiskash isn't too useful here, considering Earthquake's my only thing I can really do. Hmm... Crocodile could be decent here if I can get a good move on this fucking thing. <sighs> Embargo Crocodile will avoid the berries. Well, let's see. There's a Citrus Berry on the Skarmory, and that's the only berry. 50% Shark with the Destiny boss. <laughs> Should I bring Sharpedo? We probably do get Ice Fang on the thing. I don't know. I, I This is going to be kind of a shit time. I need... We do need Pain Split. What level did I get that? Let me check out some TMs for Kecleon here first. So, is there anything useful? Um, Thunder Wave might be good on it. If Sharpedo has speed boost, and it would be better. Yeah. Um, Smackdown's my only rock move. Now we can Volt Switch. Rock Tomb, I could teach that to Kecleon. Honestly, a 60 power Rock Tomb is better for this thing just because it's physical rather than ancient power. Fuck, this gym is going to be really tough. It's going to be tough, yeah. Let me camouflage. Get out of here with the camouflage guy. Oh boy. I wish that I had some more Pokemon. Or better ones to use. Um, I guess maybe Marowak could be decent with, like, <laughs> Rock Tomb also, is our only Rock move. Or Smackdown, even. Actually, hold on. Let me take a look at you, little friend. I'm honestly thinking we probably lead Gyarados against Star Skarmory, Dragon Dance, early, as it potentially Stealth Rocks his turn one, and then it Brave Bird and Iron Heads, but should be able to be alright. Um... You get Smackdown, guy? Yeah, Marowak does get Smackdown. But it's only 50 power. I thought Smackdown was better. Why is Smackdown only 50? It should you double the flying types, am I right? I just started a playthrough of Emerald because of this. Let's go. We love Emerald. I'll probably just teach the thing Rock Tomb, goddammit, I guess. Alright, little Marowak. You'd also be a lot better if you had your Thick Club, but you do not. Your, th your club is pretty thin. Rex Earthquake will sweep Monona's team. It's true. All those birds. Uh, and then we're double, double kick. Okay, there we go. We at least have a rock move on that thing. I don't know. Do you think we bring Marowak here? What's Marowak good for? Marowak could be good for Talonflame. And yeah, we get Will O' Wisp, Wisp, though. Smackdown's still better than Raw. Oh, it's. 10 less power. I mean, it has 5 more accuracy. Do we still want Smackdown? There's no difference, really. 
Rock Jam is just stronger. Iron Defense, Corsola. Did I get rid of Iron Defense? I sure did. Oh, with the Smackdown, I could use a ground move next turn. You're actually right. I didn't even think about that. I forgot that... Did they stay down for, like, the rest of the battle? Rock Team lowers speed, which is good. That would be nice for Skarmory. You're right. I really wish I had an electric type, dude. I do not have an electric type. This could be... A really bad battle for us. Let me... Oh, yeah, no one redeemed the prediction. Why is there no mods here anymore, damn it? All my mods have abandoned me. Maybe we'll do Smackdown instead. Just because, yeah, I can knock him down and then Earthquake the next turn. I fired them all. I'll take a look at Volt Switch. See if anybody can learn it. Oh, hold up. We had a squawk. Um, I don't think anybody can learn Volt Switch. I'm just Bone Marine, not even Earthquake. Christ. Why does it matter if I get Earthquake, man? Hmm. This battle's honestly looking really bad for us. Like, Gliscor could be really good just because we're bulky. But what am I gonna do? Hit people with fucking Night Slash? Yes, acrobatics. I guess we could probably lead Marowak against Skarmory, Smackdown, and then Earthquake kills it, and then they probably go into... Then what do they go into? Hmm. Should I buy tickets to both Islanders and the Devil's Home Openers, or should I not? I think you should do it. I believe... Yes, you should. Let's go beat some of those early trainers first. And then we'll, I guess, assess the situation a little bit better. But it doesn't really seem like I have any better options. So let me get top top to, like, a little Bone Rush. Pog. Just tuned in. What are we prepping for? We're prepping for uh, Winona. No Bone Rush. Skarmory is buffed with Brave Bird? You think so? Why do you think they would buff Skarmory out of all things? Okay, then we'll go 46 on you, Top Topper. Toppy McTopperton. Speed up button makes it hard to click stuff. Uh, we're going here. I also need to level. Also need to level the Kecleon. Also, whoever asked about the rare candies, this is why we would be. It would take us, I shit you not, probably about three or four hours to be able to battle Winona <laughs> because this thing comes level thirty. Uh, Shadow Claw is kind of kind of Pog Champ. I mean, you know, decent. Psybeam is kind of Pog Champ as well. I mean, either or. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Not buffed. Thank you, Celery Slapperton. Da, da, da. Screech. Screech could be decent on this thing. Eh. Nah. I guess I could have gotten rid of Ancient Power. Because this thing's special attack is booty. But it's fine. Fake out on kind of decent. Let's get rid of Ancient Power for Fake Out. Why not? Or just Slash. Wish I had rare candies in my Nuzlocke. You too can just alter your game pretty easily. Will the gym leader double team? I don't think so. Hi, Zuki. You just saw Zuki's tail go across my camera. <laughs> Substitute Sam. Alright, on that night. We'll go 46 on this thing as well. Just to Hey, Zuki, god damn it. You see that shit? Hey! No, get down from there, man. Stop. He scratches the top of the freaking chair. Uh, Sucker Punch is pretty decent. We'll go. Sucker Punch is out of Shadow Claw. Yeah. We don't speak of double team in the south. <laughs> it is very true. Alright, there's 46. Recover. This thing gets a lot of interesting moves. Oh, actually went 47. Should be fine. Okay. So we're healed. We're prepped ish. God damn it, I always fucking hit save. Let's lead. Yeah, let's lead Marowak. Go take care of some of these early gem people. Uh, and boy, is Winona going to be a tough time for us, huh, boys? What do you say? We're going to give it our best shot, though. Don't you worry. All right, Tree Jim. Come a few eyes. 
forgot that this place is different ish. Oh, never mind, it's the same. Alright. Bird Keeper Jared's got a Dodrio. This burb has a three head. I'm gonna smack down all three of them. Ouch. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I thought fucking Marowax's defense was better than that. It is not. Maybe where Marowak doesn't even come. This thing's gonna take like nine. Fuck me! Critical hit knocks me. Hat. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Also, I really need Will O Wisp on this Weezing. It's kind of useless. All I can really do is take like one attack and in return, like Toxic or Sludge Bomb something for like 20% damage. Well, okay, guess we're using all three of my only good Pokemon for this in this first fight against the first damn bird we come across. Corsola's fine though. Corsola's looking great. Good lord. Okay, there's a Swanna. What's Swanna gonna do to me? And Swan, I feel like Swan has got to be weirdly buffed in this game too, or some. Fuck me! Stop it with the critical hits! Tailwind's interesting. Uh, we're probably gonna wipe to this gym. Considering, I can't do shit here. In <laughs> just this first, first minion fight, <laughs> way lower level. Uh, 49 for that thing. Here's a Nocturnal Owl. Just stand and tomb it as... Damn it, what's your... What's your damn reflect? You get out of town with that. If I could set up with Kecleon, we could be in a pretty decent spot. Kind of-ish. Not really. Alright, well that was scary. Freaking Jared over here. Should have went to Jared. Would you spend 5.3 million dollars on a Pokemon card? Yes, if I had 5.3 million dollars. <laughs> That shit was stupid, though. Logan Paul, he acts like he bought it because he liked it, and then, he's like, and then he's like, but now you could own part of it in the NFT blockchain crypto stuff. But I, it was a great video, though. Shout out to Logan Paul and his multi-multi-million dollars doing crazy shit. He, he, he's, he's an interesting guy because, like, if I also had millions and millions and millions of dollars, I would... I'd probably be doing fun shit like that, too. Is Noctowl part psychic in this? Interesting, I could have sucker punched. Alright, well. I guess top top we're gonna try you again here. I hear doing side quests for real. I'm actually just gonna avoid this trainer. Why not? Avoidable? Fuck you. <laughs> I gotta do it again though. Oh, he's on high guard now. Oh shit! Wow, he looked right at me, but I it didn't go. Okay. Perfect, that's fine. I'm gonna need to like avoid that guy next time around if I come if I go to the Pokemon Center and come back. Finally beat the literally who champion in Snakewood? The literally what? Hey Lexi girl, hold on, I gotta take Lexi's leash. Hey baby. Okay, I'm back. Should I show puppy? Okay, hold on. This right here is one long puppo. I can't see the camera, but hopefully you can see her. Hi, baby. She is very cute and chill. Do not want to be held right now. Alright, we got a Tropius here, which is a bad time for us. But a good time for Sinu. Bam, 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 bam. Lux is short for Luxia. Tropius front view like I'd be having saggy titties? Can't say I see it. Uh, Swoobat, huh? Everything has coverage on everything against me. Always. 
some damn reason. Like, why would they have to lead against my ground type and then they have a psychic type for my poison type? The fuck, bro. Okay, so here we take that psychic nicely and then... I'm gonna fake it and then sucker punch. There's a chihuahua dog running through our neighborhood. Uh-oh. And then we sucker punch and then it's not gonna be able to hit me. What? It fucking used a track, mate. Attract. Hmm. I think those bananas are actually its nuts. Immobilized by love. Come on! Oh, that was a crit! Okay, that kills it. We're good. Whew. Oh my god, now a crowbat. Dude, this is scary. Bandit should be okay here. We can only get one more level on this little fella before the gym, though, so we must tread with caution. Special defense might be crucial for the sigilla. True. Yeah, Cacleon could be good for that thing. Oh, we got a defense drop and shit. Oh god, and of course it lives with like one HP. Corsal, I cannot afford for you to die, so we get like this. Yeah, we could do, we'll run a prediction on whether or not I'll lose a mod of Winona. I just don't have any mods here to help me. Where are my mods? Choose outcome. Will the Pokemon have arms? It sure did. Now we'll do another. Oh, uh, Michelle, if you want to run. Thank you for being here, Michelle. If you want to run a prediction on. Whether or not I'll lose a Pokemon to Winona. Or just beat Winona in general, Christ, it's not looking good. Thank you, Klefki! Appreciate you, lad. Run it to 48. That's all good, Michelle. I appreciate you. We'll slide through there, go back to the Pokemon Center and heal because I am afraid. Shouldn't be too many more early trainers, right? I hear a garage door opening, which means a Samantha is gonna be home in a sec, yeah. Damn it. Alright, so we do have a prediction going for Winona if you're in chat. And I totally didn't avoid this guy. I'm not really sure, Turbo. I've only ran it on my PC. Ooh, it's a Gliscor. So for this thing, we'll just go into Gyarados and Ice Wing, probably. Fucking ouch. Sammy is in Mava. Ooh, I just got a flinch with the Ice Fang. Nice. Let's go. Moxie boost for the win. We've got Toga Kiss here. Hey, Steven Mile more! Let's Steven Mile go. Appreciate you, buddy, for the 16 months. You're a legend. You're a legend around these parts. Also. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whew. Double Moxie Boost plus level 49, and it's a jump pluff. And I'm just gonna go ahead and not risk it. <laughs> I switch. I just use Leech Seed. Anyway, I could have killed it with my two Moxies. It's fine. Sludge Bomb does the trick. Damn it, I didn't want to battle this trainer. I had Desmond me on my Android, and it was a laggy piece of shit. Yeah, I imagine on phones it doesn't really run great. Oh, fuck. I didn't even pay attention to this matchup. I kind of figured that it was gonna die after like one attack. Hello? Alright, prediction numbers are looking pretty good over here. You guys are preying on my downfall though, so... Don't appreciate that. Get another fresh heal, and we're back. Well, Oh, Lexi. What? That's where I got food last night. Okay, let's get through here. I did battle this fella. Went all in on Believer. You got this. Thank you, sir. I think if, for some reason, if I could lead Gyarados against Skarm... Do I have Dragon Dance on Gyar now? Even? I do. Brave Bird is going to do a lot to Gyarados is the only thing. I really wish I had a goddamn Citrus Berry. That'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. I didn't need to battle this person, I literally went up and talked to him. For no fucking reason. Whatever. Smack down, bitch! I'm gonna smack you down. This is practice for the Skarmory. I think I might just lead Marowak against Skarmory. Smack down and then... Jesus, dude. This Marowak is useless, bro. There's no point in bringing this thing. This Marowak is... Is it raining out there? Huh. This Marowak is god-awful. Jesus. Jesus. I don't think I have anything in the box to use other than Marowak, though. TBH. 
age. It's only 46, true. I need to get us some levels. Endeavor, and no endeavor for me. Tailwind petered out. Here's a deadly bird. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, deadly bird. Let's go. All my homies love delivery birds. I saw someone on TikTok, TikTok that was like so tripping out about the fact that it was like not based off, it was like d based off of delivery. They're like, it's delivery bird. Like, what are you thinking about? Like, deli meat bird? <laughs> okay, that's... That kills me. Well, <clears throat> the um, the leaf blade from Farfetch'd sneaks up on me and gets me every time. Every damn time. God damn it. I was rock type, so that's why. Well, I'll tell you what. The Mar or the uh, the Kecleon lasted about ten minutes. Damn it, man! It's all it's uh, the optional trainers are always what fucks me. Why did I click on that guy? Well, okay. I don't know who we're gonna bring instead of Kecleon, and we likely wipe against Winona because our chances are just getting worse now, and they weren't good to start. But better to, and I didn't even have to battle him. I know. I know, man. Alright, Kikleon. You suck balls. I mean, it wasn't your fault, but you know. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like... We're fricked. Um, might have to bring, like... Gliscor. Gliscor should be good... Against like Talon Flame, has good, good physical defense. Yeah, honestly, good defense all around. Who do I bring instead of Marowak? This thing sucks ass. I mean, it'll at least I think it can for sure kill the Skarmory. It's supposed to be Citrus Berries on your way here, 118. Maybe you missed them. Oh wait, I think I know where they might be actually. Let me see. Is it? Isn't there a train right here? Are these Citruses? No, it's a Palm Eggs. Where's 118? Where's 119? Is there citrus berries there? I mean, I, I collected every damn berry. I thought it would be worth it for me to go get some for sure. Crooked does not have any rock moves now. I go looking for some citruses? 50 level cap, what are you talking about, Celery? Let me head back down. Probably gonna run into some optional trainers that I skipped. Is it over there, like by the berry farm friggin' place? Oh no. Okay. I didn't heal and I couldn't escape. Jesus fuck me. I decided to bring Dragonite, but yeah, I won't evolve till 55, unfortunately. Unfortuitously. How's it going, Samantha? It's Friday! Let's go, Pog Champs in chat. Where, maybe I have to go across the thing with a different bike to get to the citrus berries, huh? Should I Peter for Ice Fang? Well, I've had just a big bolty so Oh, shit. I don't like this Amoogus. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking wasted my Lumberry on this thing. God damn it. No, that was so annoying. I didn't need to even come over here. I think the berries I'm looking for might be over there. But I need to go get a whole new bike in Mobile for that. Think they're over? You think they're over there? Oh shit! Oh my god, Corsola, well, this is not what we wanted to see. Oh shit, boys! The lizard squad! Oh god, I don't like these lizards, man. I don't like them. Let me get out of here, bro. Thank you. Okay, sweet Jesus, this is scary. I came over here looking for a berry, now I'm down a berry, and in bad trouble. I didn't heal on the way before I came over here, so that's probably why. Well, if it counter, might take out at least one, same with Sharpedo. Beautiful. Do I look beautiful? Indeed. Thanks. That's my guy. Um, yeah, maybe we just bring Wabafet. No. No! no. <laughs> I have two hands. I do have fly now. Oh, I can just fly to Malville. You're right. I do have fly now, but I thought I couldn't use it until later. It is a wild manta. 
Stop. I, I'm just gonna play. I don't trust you. Um, I think we probably want to teach Fly to. I, mean, I guess the only one is freaking Glacier. He does not care for me. <laughs> what? I love you. What do you mean? How many times I hear that a day? Looking fresh, AF, getting younger, you love to see it, says FaZe. To you, Samantha. She's looking fresh AF today. She's absolutely gorgeist. Go gorgeous. I'm always, I'm literally, Gravy, it's not that I'm in trouble again, I've just been in trouble since I met her. Let's see, we, I guess, get rid of acrobatics or cross poison, fucking cross poison, we don't play that shit. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Lulz. Let me fly, I guess, to Monville. Dude, I'm gonna be looking for citrus berries for ever. Oh, I can't use it until I beat one. That's what I thought. That is why I wasn't trying to do that. I realize now. Do I got any citrus berries over here that I missed? No? Probably not. Are they over here? Somewhere? Because this is where all the berries and shit were. I grabbed every berry from here. How'd you and Sam meet? We met on Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam. She didn't even message me until I had to use my daily extend, so she's the one that doesn't like me. Yeah, there's not a berry. There's no berries over here. Lux is going crazy. Um, yeah, I don't have a citrus berry, so there was no citrus berries, or they just. They're gone. You met your wife on Bumble? Let's go! Hell yeah. How long have you guys been together? Uh, you got any citrus berries? Hello? I think it really might be that bike path thing, huh? Well, I'm pretty much already all the way to Monville. Should I go switch to the old acro bike? I knew I should have gone acro bike, man. Acro bike supremacy. Whoa, Lexi. She's really learning her barks more, more and more. I met my wife on Bumble too. No <laughs> way. I hear a growing pepper. Yeah, she's over there teething. So she bark, she bark, bark. The Dene would have been poggers. That would have been so poggers for our upcoming objective. We're taking our time before Winona because we're likely just gonna end the run here. I met depression on Bumble. <laughs> Me too until I met Sam. Okay, Acrobike, there we go. Let's freaking go, my. Okay, now I can't use fly for some dumbass reason. They want me to just hate my life trying to struggle my way all the way across this damn region. Like, why would they just let you fly, you know? Bam, 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 bam. Right, Samantha? Right, right, Samantha? Sitter's behind the cut trees. Go back. Oh, shit. Really? Okay, nice. Thank you. Wait, where are the cut trees? Way over here? I don't have cut, but check the patch that's just looking at if you pass the water. That's a cuttable tree, okay. No! Get out of here, little fungus. Cut tree? I need to now go back and get somebody that has cut. I hate it here. I'll find a damn shiny before I get over there. Couldn't escape, Corsola. Landed my backside rodeo on trampoline yesterday. Let's go, buddy. Good shit, man. Should I teach somebody cut? I mean, cut's a kind of a decent grass move in this game. But probably not. Nobody really needs it right now. I'm gonna go get somebody that has it. Go back to the top of the route? You don't need cut. Oh. What the fuck? You said it's behind a cut tree, so I'm thinking I need to get. Oh, yeah, I can just go here. What is she doing? Please. Please, Corsola. Cut won't kill. Yes! Finally! Citrus berries! I need to draw this man a diagram. For real. Alright, there we fucking go. I've got some citruses. And a shit ton of marsh tops. Good lord. Okay, I'm probably gonna end up putting citruses on like everybody. I guess I could. Do you think I put it on Gyarados and try to lead and set up on set up on on her? I'm probably slower than Honchkrow, and that thing has thunder. I don't know if I Dragon Dance though. 
I should plant a few. It's a good idea. But I'm an instant gratification kind of guy. Couldn't get away. This Corsola is the worst Pokemon to have in front, but I refuse to switch. Please! Fuck! I'm gonna find a different place to plant some. I have the wrong bike to go over there! Fuck me! I'm literally stuck and I hate it here. God, I can't go up that shit. Hex in more and say he planted them. <laughs> See, Grim, Grim knows what he's talking about over here. Plant them by a fortress. Yeah, there's a berry patch over there on the top left by fortress. It'll be easy because I can I can fly there. Good God, I don't think I battled that guy. Thank God I avoided him. All right, nice. We're nearly there. I missed the grinding dust. Those are so dumb. <laughs> All right, here's the patch where I'm gonna put me a citrus. There we go. Cool. Okay. I think we might even still have some trainers to battle before Monona. We probably didn't get through them all. I spent part of my day at work listening to your old Nuzlocke of Heart Gold featuring buns and handjobs and twin leaf. Let's go. <laughs> uh, it's good hearing names of old mons that I nicknamed in Nuzlocke. It's been years since I've even thought about those Pokemon. If you ever are re-watching an old Nuzlocke, tell me funny nickname or good nicknames you think that I had back in those days. Okay, let's puzzle through this bitch. Um, I just go like this, and then like this. And I avoid this guy. Yeah, Pogchamp. Everybody remembers Reginald, let's be real. Alright, we made it. Sergeant Stings again. That's <laughs> my favorite guy. Alright, <clears throat> so. We're gonna level cap everybody to 50 as Winona is about to now catch these hands. Freaking hopefully. Um, it all depends kind of on like how much a Brave Bird does to from Skarmory to Gyarados. You have recently paid big, big disrespect to Fork. How, how so? Okay, we're going Citrus on you as well. Citrus is probably better than Hardstone. Um, I do want... Here's what, here's what the thing is though. I want to make sure it's the Talonflame Will-O-Wisps. Wisps. And maybe I just go, like, Lumberry on something who I know I'm going to use against Talonflame just to play it safe. Like, maybe I go Lumberry on... Um, who should I use for this, the Talonflame? I guess, you know, prob like Marowak, maybe? What, what's Marowak here for? Let's be real. Also, what am I going to do against Gyarados, man? Back in the day, you had to spend a name Drunky. <laughs> I did. Let's go. I guess I'm, I might even just, I don't know. I'm gonna give citruses to like, pretty much everybody. I only have two left though. Did I put Smackdown on Glyscor? Did not. Can you get it? I think you can. If so, I'll give that thing the Lumberry. If I have, yeah, I do have one left. Give. Molly the Houndoom. A classic. Smackdown, baby smack. Ah, oh, you can't learn Smackdown, brother. You can learn Rock Tomb, though, so that's fine. Dookie boy. It's good that level cap's 50 here. Everything else is 48 on her. Yeah, let's be real, Marowak's damage is so garbage isn't going to kill anything anyway. <laughs> True, Marowak will probably die here, but if it does, that's fine. That ain't no problem. I think I'm gonna get rid of acrobatics. Although, does it double if it's not holding an item? If it's doubled, then I should definitely keep it. I guess fly is 100, so it's pretty much the same. I just kind of like Night Slash for the coverage. Night Slash could be useful against the Sigilix as well. That thing's got Psychic, Hurricane, Dazzling Gleam, and Ice Beam. Never mind, it's not going to be used for that. Um, okay. Especially in this fight, I have my item anyway. Now we level cap everybody. Okay, 
Yeah, it's doubled and flying gem works. Yeah, but I don't have flying gem. No flail for you, little friend. Corsola is now level 50. Gyarados is now level 50. Hyper Beam. So here's the question, boys and girls. Do I lead Marowak? Turn one Smackdown, turn two Bone Meringue it to kill the to kill that thing? Or do I lead Gyarados, Dragon Dance turn one, as the Skarmory probably goes for Stealth Rock, and then I just start going for damage against it? I'm just afraid that a Brave Bird's gonna do so much to me. To Gyarados. I mean we have one Citrus, but like is there anything else I can even set up on? Not really. Like, I feel like setting up Gera is probably a better option, but if it goes wrong and shit goes crazy and then I lose my Gyarados, I'm, I'm fucked. I just don't know how much Brave Bird's gonna do. Say Gyarados because you don't want to take the Stealth Rock damage and bring it in later. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Might lose our Gyarados here. Just bet everything with Gera. Alright. Ooh, Sword Stance on the Gliscor. Okay, hold on. We could even... No, no, we're not gonna do that. Um... Shit. I guess I have to get rid of Night Slash. Whatever. It's fine. Two dances and I believe you sweep. I think we might have to dance twice, yeah. But then we get a Moxie boost after the kill, though, so... I will calc that real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how much a Brave Bird does. This is a really... This is one of the tougher fights in this game. Uh, Pokemon damage calc. Let's go. Alright, so... Gyarados. We're going level 50. Let's say I have a defense IV of like 10, with no investment in there. Against Skarmory, uh, level 48. With, uh, you think, does it, they don't have EVs, right? Do they, they, they have physical attack investment? I don't know. Brave Bird, if it has zero attack EVs, Brave Bird does. 50% to me. <laughs> oh yeah, I can set the exact defense stat. Relax. Sorry for the barks. Defense is 82, what I'm calcing with, set it to 89. So my defense EV has to literally be less than zero, some fucking how, and have zero EVs in it. I don't know how that's even possible, but okay. Yeah, this Brave Bird's gonna do half to me, uh, and that sucks. I don't think this really works. Plus, I mean, if this thing's... Oh, I'm a minus defense nature, that's why. <laughs> and if this Skarmory has attack investment, it's... Uh, I'm fucked. I don't know if leading Gyarados is a good idea now knowing that this Brave Bird is going to do around 50% to me. I mean, I guess, I guess that's what I imagined, but... We would like it to do half to get the berry. So it's like, what, I Dragon Dance turn one. It Stealth Rocks. Ideally, it might not even do that. Then I have to go for an Aqua Tail as it then hits me with a Brave Bird and hope I hit. Then... I mean, it's going to be like a two-hit KO, hopefully, on that thing. I don't know, man. This Gyarados plan doesn't seem like it's going to work super well. But, we're going to try it anyways, boys. I think it's got to be the best option for us here. You know? You know? Whatever. Everybody's level 50. Oh, Jay is not level 50. Just kidding. Hello, Cats O'Neil. The other option I have is lead Marowak. Smackdown turn one as it sets up Stealth Rock. Then I can Bone Ring it as it's on the ground kill it, then they bring in, like, Sigilyph, then I have to hard switch into, uh, Corsola on an Ice Beam, that honestly kind of sounds like a better idea. I would almost prefer to waste Marowak early, like, just get Marowak to do what I think I can. Dun, dun, dun. Telling you, man, Wobbuffet that we don't care about into counters flying type seems kind of nice, dude, honestly, kind of true. I might bring Wobbuffet out for this one, boys, instead of Marowak. Smitty! First chance in two weeks. I've been able to catch, uh, check in and say hi. Good luck. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate you. 
I think we go Mar I think we go Wobbuffet instead because Wobbuffet is like a guaranteed kill on shit. So you know what? I'm going back to get the Wobbuffet instead of Marowak. Let's be real. That Marowak wasn't gonna. It was destined to be shit as soon as we didn't get a thick club for it. So you know what? Replacing it. Oh, now I have to hatch the egg though. I never even hatched that fella. I have to like get the damn hack for this thing. Also, like Coral of course, let's switch out to get Regenerator. True. Sad that Marowak is so bad. I know, dude. I did skip that one trainer. Fuck, now I have to figure out how the hell I hatch the hatch egg quickly. Uh, where's the cheats on this thing? Da -da 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 -da. Cheats. They're both selected. Both of the egg... I have egg cheats on here. Like, supposed to be, like, quick egg hatch. But, I don't think it even really worked for us last time. If I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it did anything. I think we just hatched this bitch naturally, which is so incredibly annoying. God damn it. I'm almost just gonna not bring it, because I don't want to hatch it. <laughs> Where can I run? I have to press LR or something? I think so. I'm, do I have to, like, press it and hold it? What even are those? LR. Where are my controls here? L and R. Q and W for me. I'm, hold, I'm holding L and R while going. Like maybe it just goes like a little bit faster. <laughs> oh fucking no, I'm over it. <laughs> oh shit, this egg is annoying. This, these cheats, I don't think they even did anything for us last time. Like we had, we did use this Wobbuffet in my last run. Uh, I'm over it. You have to get the magic muffler. Why won't these egg cheats just work? Fast egg hatch or ass. Um, Christ. Fast egg hatch or ass cheat. Everybody's like, get a. Like, it's trying to like tell me like a normal way to do it. Um, magma armor. Shut up. I just want to hack. Test and proven to work. First input this code is a new code in your action replay. Now start the game with this code activated. Put your egg in your party. Now hold down L and R and take a step. Okay, I'm going to input this. We're going to restart. Maybe it's because I had to reset the game or something. Let's try. Let's give it a whirl. Emulation cheats. Add cheats. This is going to probably be like the third time this has been in here. Egg. Save. Turn it on. And I close. Now, I know, I'll save. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I save. This Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet will, really will save us from... Like, at least being able to kill one thing. Delete your save first. <laughs> okay, now I hit F6. Oops, we didn't go. Maybe I make a save state too, just in case I fook something up. Save state. Okay, now I hit F6. Now we'll take one step holding on R. If it's not one step, I'm suing whoever made this freaking post. <gasps> P Kitty, thank you very much for the 15 Wanna months, my friend. Fast. Hayden, it didn't work. Try getting a Pokemon such as Fucking Christ. Person underscore face palming. Its ability can help hatch eggs faster. Poggers. Try getting a Pokemon such as Slugma. Thank you. Shabusi, hello. Mm, they do not. They do not have EVs. Nice. But did, like, did, did this even speed up anything? I fucking hate it here. I'm over it. We're not using Wabafet. Somehow the egg hatched into a sweet with ice beam. Must have been a wrong cheese. <laughs> I guess we'll go with it. Me after I PK hex it. Why can't I think you gotta do an egg cycle? Like I have to get through like one cycle. Guy in the freaking post said use. Take one step and it would be done. Oh yeah, also have the Acrobike. You ever finished Pokemon Snakewood? I did not. Never been able to fully finish that shit. Accidentally spends more time trying to hack and hatch an egg than actually hatch. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. Fuck this egg. It's not coming. People on the internet have lied to me about cheats. Too many damn times! Bam, bam. I think we're just gonna go with the old Gyarados strategy. 
It's probably still gonna be Marowak that comes, I guess, cause like... What else do I have, really? You know? Unless I just go Crocodile. Honestly... Crocodile is probably better. Attack isn't even that much different. 20 points higher. But I'm at least Intimidate, which could be good. I think Crook can learn Rock Tomb. At least I can, uh... Yeah, no, I think Marowak is still at least better because I can smack down and then Bone Meringue, but like... Yeah, we're going Marowak. You know what? Marowak's going to be the MVP of this, and we're going to be like, thank God we brought him. You ever just try to hatch an egg randomly and then give up? Bam, 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 bam. He climb, and I have to avoid that trainer now really badly. I don't avoid that trainer, I'm in bad trouble because I can't let anything grow another level. It was this trainer over here, I think, right? Yeah, it was that guy. Oh god, I'm gonna for sure trigger a fight here. I mean, I guess it would be fine because it wouldn't put me... It wouldn't put me at a whole extra level, right? All right, we did it. All right, so I think we still want to lead with the Gary Dose. Taking 50% from a Brave Bird sucks balls, but we gotta just hope that I can set up two Dragon Dances, and then it's still gonna be a two-hit KO with Aqua Tail, so I think I'm honestly still kind of fucked. This might not be a good idea. The Gardo Sweep is always so... If, if I can get it to go, like, just get past this Skarmory, we're good, but like, dude, I Dragon Dance once, they Stealth Rock. I Dragon Dance twice, they Brave Bird me down to 50. Citrus Berry activated, I can take one more Brave Bird. I go for... Yeah, maybe we just DD once. Because the Moxie... After you know, we only really need one Speed Boost. I really can't afford to miss an Aqua Tail here, and that 90% is staring me down. Uh, I'm playing Minecraft, those doors sound like ghasts. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think we just go for the Aqua Tail... After one Dragon Dance. That's what we're doing, boys. Ooh, look at this cool view. All right, Winona, it's been an hour, but we're finally ready to challenge you. Should totally reuse Rock Smash. You're right. Uh, actually, yeah, Ice Fang would be neutral. Let me see how much an Ice Fang does to that thing, actually. Ice Fang after plus one to Skarmory with zero defense investment does 20%, so... 25%. Whereas a, an Aqua Tail. Well, I already talked to her, so we're pretty much. Aqua Tail does 49%. Oh god, I've got to hope for high rolls or something here. Actually, I don't. I didn't calc myself. Oh my god, no, it doesn't. I have. Oh, I just calc that with 252 attack investment. Boys, we're fucked. I'm gonna need like three dragon dances and a crit to fucking kill this thing. Aqua Tail after plus one is gonna do 38% to it. Plus, I'm probably gonna miss. Uh, okay, well, we're fucked. I shouldn't have already talked to her. I'm realizing now that damage. <sighs> Shit. Well, there's nothing else I could really do, so. No, no, reset. Fuck it. We're just going for it. We're gonna do our. Th seven hit KO to try to kill this thing after taking 50% from their Brave Bird. It's fine. It's fine. Winona's scary, man. Skarmory gets chip damage? No? What do you mean? I mean, after a Brave Bird, yeah. That is true. But still, numbers like 38% to it is not good. Because there's Skarmory, and we really want this thing to Stealth Rock here, turn one. As we dance, and I have to Aqua Tail too. Or I could Ice Fang and hope for a flinch. So we're going for the dance. Oh, he be dancing. Hey, he be dancing. It does Stealth Rock. Perfect. Okay. So, the next play for this thing is for it to click Brave Bird. So, do we go for our 40% damage here and click Aqua Tail? Or do we dance again? 
It's gonna, keep in mind, it's gonna knock me down to like half. I think we probably have to dance again. We do have a citrus, so that's at least great news. Okay, there's the brave bird. And it'll take pretty big chip from this, I hope. Oh, it didn't even knock me to half. Didn't get me to the citrus. Shit. I guess I could dance again. I don't really need to dance again, though. And the reason for that is because... After a moxie, I'm at plus three anyway. So it's like, I don't need any more attack. I okay everything after this. Well, now I kind of just hope that I guess it doesn't get like a big max damage. We definitely do not dance again. We smack him with the old water tail. And we did not miss. Let's go. Give me a crit and kill it. Oh, let's go. It just kills it. Let's go. The fucking... Oh, the second dance. Let's go. All right. Chandler with the prime sub. Let's go, buddy. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, that's amazing. Um, that was that was actually interesting because at plus two, let's see. At plus two, it depends on how many attack EVs the Gyarados ended up with. But plus two showing that I'm doing 60% to the thing. So... I must have like, I must have like a hundred EVs in attack or something, I don't know. I don't know how the hell that killed. It's actually extremely nice though. So now in comes Honchcrow. Uh, Honchcrow, Night Slash, Brave Bird, Steel Wing, and Thunder. So it wants to Thunder, but also it's Scope Lens, scary. But since we have Dance, we are faster, we Ice Fang. I am a top one percentage Gary, let's go. All right, so now I think we're pretty much in the clear, other than only Mon we're afraid of is their Gyarados. But then again, they can't really touch me other than, okay, they go Talonflame. Talonflame, Sharp Beak, it does have Gale Wings. Oh, fuck. Gale Wings is not nerfed yet, boys. Didn't even think about that. This is the point where Gale Wings works how it used to. So any flying move is priority. And I probably die to a Brave Bird. Wow, I did not even think about that. Talon is back. No, dude. I'm glad that I remembered that Gale Wings isn't nerfed yet, but it would have been really cool if that first attack from that thing knocked me to half, so then I would be at Citrus for this point. Shit, I think I have to go Corsola here. Damn it, I wanted the Gyarados sweep, man! Oh, that's annoying. It's real annoying. How am I gonna kill their Gyarados too, dude? Shit. Yeah, let me Calc and see what I think a Brave Bird will do to the Gyarados at this point. Let's see. We're looking at Talon Lame. If it is Jolly. Brave Bird does... Wait, what level is this thing? 48. Brave Bird does 44 to 52% to me. <laughs> I'm calculating with my defense at zero. Actually, I'm a minus defense nature, so let me calc that. Uh, what, what nature even is this thing? I'm just going to go hasty. Uh... Fuck, this is like really close. I can look at my defense stat to be able to tell, I think, right? My defense is 82, where this is counting it at 75, actually. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go. Uh, yeah, defense, I need to be at like 12 EV. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, no, it's still this. Like, it's, oh, it's got sharp beak though. Oh no. Oh yeah, we for sure can't take this. With a sharp beak, it's gonna do sixty percent to me. That's the item. Fuck. Why did it have to be sharp beak, man? Who who does that? Yeah, we definitely can't take an attack from this thing. Town flame. 
you've ruined my plan, bro. If it was it wasn't minimum damage on that Skarmory on the first turn, we would be fine because I would have been citrus level. All right, well it's okay. We go into Bandit here, but now I gotta figure out like maybe it'll Will O Wisp. I don't. It's not. I don't think it's worth risking. We just go Bandit for sure. If uh, yeah, I don't know how we kill their their Gyarados and shit. Damn. I really wish that they would have saved some time before they went into Talonflame. So it does Brave Bird. Corsola eats that shit up for breakfast. Mm, he says that shit delicious damage. And now I can kill this thing with a an Ancient Power. Although... What is their play after this? They can go... They don't have anything super effective other than Earthquakes on their Gyarados and Altaria. I could try to play around their Earthquake, but... That shit would be too scary. I think we, yeah, I mean, obviously we just click Ancient Power here and just hope for the best, but I'm just trying to figure out what they might go into. We do get burnt, which is annoying, but honestly, I mean, fine. We're special attacking anyway. Give me that Omni Boost, baby. Help me out here. Let's go Corsola. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Lux, no. You're going crazy. Zuka. <laughs> Doesn't quite knock me down on my citrus berry either, dude! Shit! Alright, so here comes Gyarados. Now... This is where it's really bad, because this Gyarados here... Um, could just Dragon Dance. It probably wants to Earthquake, but it could also Dragon Dance. And the second this thing clicks Dragon Dance here, we lose. So... I might even switch into Klefki here, and just T-Wave it right from the start here. Might even have to sack Klefki. I'm pretty sure... Uh, if it Earthquakes, though, that's really bad. I wonder if I can take an Earthquake from it on Klefki, though. I'm scared, man. Alright, Klefki, you have no defense investment at all. You're, you're a 5 IV, probably. Gyarados. Does not have attack EVs. And Earthquake does 72% to Klefki. If uh, this is my Klefki's not bold, but yeah, we should be able to live an Earthquake on Klefki. I think paralyzing this thing is probably our best chance of being able to beat it. Weezing has Levitate. I could hard hard switch into Weezing, but if it fucking Dragon Dances, then what am I gonna do? Sludge Bomb for 30%? Go into Sending for the EQ and then pivot that guy. I just don't know if it's gonna Earthquake. It it, it could very well Dragon Dance. I think what I do is I go Klefki, no matter what happens, Klefki lives, I get a T-Wave off, and then if it, and then I, after the T-Wave, then I can switch into Sinnoh on the next Earthquake. So let's do that. Bring it in the keys. Unless there's any shenanigans here, this should be the safest play. It does just Earthquake, so it saw the kill there against Corsola. Oh my god, we lived it with seven. Jesus, man. You live by the Gyarados and you die by the Gyarados, baby. That's show business. All right. So that's really good that we at least live that shit. That would have been big Sag if I lost. All right. Now we... Now we just T-Wave. Hope for a para. <laughs> I guess. I mean, there's... Listen, the Klefki, you just got to... You got to do this shit, man. This Gyarados is Wakanberry, too. Jesus. Para. Yes, let's go. Okay, nice. Let's go. Now we can hard switch into Weezing, and then our Weezing kind of counters this thing as long as it doesn't get up a bunch of Dragon Dances. I wish this Weezing had Thunderbolt, but it has the Wakan Berry anyway. Um, okay, so now we dodge an Earthquake. Oh, two Paras in a row? Let's freaking go! Call me Dr. Seuss. Alright, uh, I guess we just Sludge Bomb now. It's not going to be able to do a whole lot here, but... We could get some more paras. Oh my god, that does nothing. Oh no, <laughs> now it's dancing. Oh god. Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Bounce, and Earthquake is what this thing's got. I just pretty much proceed to Sludge Bomb here. It's all I can literally do, and it's gonna get it to healing range. I'm sure it's gonna Hyper Potion, and we're gonna be fucked. More Dragon Dances. Oh god. Oh god. How do you beat Gyaradoses, man? She's gonna heal after this next Sludge Bomb. If I could Shadow Ball and not put it to range where then they heal, that's probably the safest play. Yeah, plus get the special defense drop, now we're on the same page. 
We go for the Shadow Ball here. Special defense drop and don't put it in heal. Thank you. Ah, oh, did not open it. Bounced. That's actually nice because it could just get fully paired on this next turn. But does the Sludge Bomb kill this next one? I don't think it even does. Special defense drop is what we needed, but whatever. We just click Sludge Bomb here. Still faster. It does hit the bounce though. God damn it. We live. <sighs> this sucks though. So, why did it bounce though is the question. I need max damage on a sludge bomb to kill this thing. Ugh, but it, fuck, it's not gonna kill and they're gonna fully heal. And then what am I gonna do? Literally then what do I do? Then I just lose to this Gyarados. Or waste my whole team trying to kill it. Cause we could still get Lucky Paris, but like, bruh. Toxic so it bounces, then switch to Marowak? Why would Toxic make it bounce? Oh, I guess, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. So toxic, so I don't get damage. What if it doesn't use bounce, though? I feel like waterfall and bounce are, like, pretty much random range. Like, it's going to be, like, 50%. I, I, AI is going to click one or the other, you know? <sighs> hmm. I honestly kind of just... It'll see kill. Yeah, yeah, I think we just go for... Sludge Bomb here and just grab ourselves a quick wheezing kill. Let's go, buddy. Come on, Disco Balls. No! Fucking lived on one HP, dude. Oh my god. It lived on one HP. I thought I had the kill. You can't even see the health on this son of a bitch. Oh my god. Well, we pretty much lose now because it lost, left on 1 HP. <sighs> now we go... <laughs> what was Sinna's speed stat? Sinna was 78. That's really fast. Everybody is 64. They're gonna heal, so I mean, I could go into my Gyarados and Ice Fang, it's the only thing I can do. So, I mean, yeah, they just fucking full restore, or. I guess I could set up Swords Dance on Gliscor. Gly yeah, true. Yeah, maybe we just go Swords Dance and then Rock Tomb. Or Gyarados and Dragon Dance, but I think I think Gliscor has the best bet here. But the unfortunate news is, their Sigilyph has fucking Ice Beam. So as soon as I kill this thing, they go into that and then kill me. Plus they have Stealth Rock up, yeah. The run is pretty much dead. We try to salvage what we can. I still have to, still, still have to kill Sigilyph uh, in Altaria. After this thing, but I think... I would love to go into my Gyarados and get like, have them get a bunch of Paras, but it's not gonna happen. Died to a waterfall with Gliscor if Rock Team doesn't kill, right? Yeah, pretty much. And it's got like plus two, so. <sighs> I think, honestly, I have to go like Marowak, try to outspeed, or smack down on the turn. Yeah, the rocks would give me citrus. I don't know if it's a full restore. I almost just want to go into like Marowak, try to get some chip on it, and then bring in something else, and then try that way. Sack that guy, and then repair him. Yeah, uh... Sack that guy and repair him? What do you mean? What, I don't know if it's full restore or not. Is it full restore or is it hyper potion? If it's full restore, we just straight up lose unless I do that play. I don't know what the fuck to do anymore. Gyarados is just so annoying and it lived on. That's literally one HP. Like, that's. No, you cannot. What did I do? Sam told me not worry, be happy. So I'm just gonna take that advice. So. Again, we don't have a plan. 
I could go into Marowak Rock Tomb, I could go into Corsola Ancient Power, I could go into Gyarados, try to Dragon Dance after I activate my Citrus Berry and then do like 30% to it with a fucking Ice Fang and hope I get like 7 pairs in a row. I could go into Klefki and if they full restore, try to Thunder Wave it again. I could go into Gliscor, try to Swords Dance as they heal. Uh, but if it full restores, then it's faster than me and kills me with a waterfall. Um, so we're pretty much fucked. I'm just going to go into top top and see what happens here, boys. The 1 HP live fucked us over so incredibly hard. I've never been so fucked before. I <sighs> just click smack down here. It is just a hyper potion. Okay, that's actually good news for us. So you're saying there's a chance. Because realistically, if Marowak dies, I don't give a shit. Oh my god, look at that damage. That doesn't even help me at all. That helps me... That doesn't help me one tiny little... Little bit. So now we just smack down again until Marowak dies. Like, give me at least a, a para here. Give me one para. Give me a para. Give me a para. Give me a... Yes! Okay. Give me another para, actually. Marowak can... Marowak can clutch this. Para. 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 Yes! Let's go! No! Winona, you bitch! God, dude. You literally just can't counter that. <laughs> uh, okay, give me a para. And a crit. That's all over heals, yeah. Para, para, para. No, okay. I lose my leg. Hardcore Nuzlocks are fucking annoying because it's like, I can't use items, but they can just literally ruin my run because of items. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. <sighs> okay, so realistically, how can I win this? Oh, dude, even Altaria can set up Dragon Dances. We're so fricked. Uh, okay. Krusty Krab, unfair. Maybe I go Gyarados? I think two Ice Fangs probably kills it, but I almost need a Dragon Dance. I wish I was Intimidate, man. I think I go Gyarados here. After Stealth Rock Citrus activates, I'll be at like 70-ish percent. I can try to Dragon Dance and hope they get paired. <laughs> and if I have plus one speed, I can sweep the rest of the team with Gyarados. Yeah, but normal Nuzlocke's aren't fun, because then it's just like, I full restore here, they full restore. I full restore until they run out of PP and I went. I think I need a Dragon Dance. They might bounce against my Gyarados. Let's fly on Gliscor and hope Para on attacking turn. True. Uh, <laughs> do we want to do that? Do I go fly on Gliscor instead? It won't kill at this range. You used up all my Para luck. I'm gonna go my Gyarados. They can hit, they have plus two attacks. So yeah, bounce kills me, but that's about it. Actually, this is gonna bring me to like 60%. Hardly even 50. Alright. Uh, well, I think the only way this run survives is if I Dragon Dance here as they get paralyzed. So I'm clicking it. Here we go, Gary Dose. Here we go, Gary. Okay, uh, so it used bounce, but there's still a chance that it gets paired this next turn. <laughs> or I could switch into Corsola for the safer option. Maybe I should have just gone Corsola. Oh no, he has Earthquake. I guess I Dragon Dance again. And please give me a paralyzed man. Just throw me a bone one time, brother. Please. I'm so nervous. Para, para, para. Fuck you. All right, we'll lose. <sighs> Christ. Every single thing that could have gone wrong, went wrong. I knocked it to 1 HP. I got two pairs in a row really luckily, and then they hyper knocked it to Hyper Potion range. Definitely cannot win this shit now.
God, dude. The one HP live that killed the run. It was all the one HP live, boys. The run is over. I just go into anything and click random shit at this point. It doesn't matter. Now you get fully paralyzed? Eat my ass. You ever just have to use all six of your Pokemon to kill one thing? God damn it. Gyarados is not even a bird. It's true. I literally did everything I could. I mean, like, there was no... There was no way for me to win that. Until we lose. God damn it, man. I hate this game so much. We made it to... Winona. We made it halfway through Winona. Need a lot of hacks to help that. Wobbuffet probably could have helped a lot, but I just didn't want to hatch the egg. <laughs> and so, big ripperonies. Um, damn. The one HP live. Second attempt, how you lose again? What? Pokemon Sword Wonderlock? I don't know how to, like, hack my Switch to do that shit. Why does she even have Gyarados? Doesn't count as a flying type. Freaking agreed. Some nonsense. We'll probably do Sun and Moon next, but I'm just gonna go be depressed for the next week. Old Sun and Moon by Buffle. Let's go. Mystery Dungeon Nuzlocke. I've never played any of the Mystery Dungeon games, but it doesn't seem fun for me. Anyway, well, to Hawaii we go. <laughs> I fucking hate Nuzlocking. Seriously. All right. Well, I'll be back again next week, and we'll try something else. See ya.